video is a playthrough of the tune Spinning Jenny. I'll play the tune first of all and then just talk you through the way that I play the tune to give you some indication as to some of the embellishments that you can add to make this tune sound more interesting. Okay, this is the basic tune. Okay, that's the basic melody, so the best thing first of all I can do is play through the tune slowly, so you, if you want to learn it by ear, you will be hopefully be able to by following along. Oh, the key is... Key of G. Three, four... simply a double uh, stop first finger first note of the G string and open D so play that again The second part of the tune is like this. So what's going on there? You start off on the D string. So you're starting off with the first finger on the first note of the D string. And then you're going up with the ring finger onto the third note. Now what I do now is I slide my ring finger up to the E. And I play the, I'm sorry, the A, and I play the other open A. Now that, I believe, is called unison, uh, playing a unison note, where I'm playing the A on the D string and also the A on the A string. It gives it a brighter sound. So, starting off from the B part again... 
then you drop back down to the third note. And repeat. Double stop. So I'll just play the whole thing through, the whole B section through. Plenty of slides in this tune, you must have heard them so far, me putting them in. That's a slide down. So all I'm doing is from the first note on the A string, I'm just sliding down to the open A. And likewise the open the D, the first note on the D string. And also I'm sliding up to that first note. Also on the A string. And sometimes I slide up to the third note on the A string. And likewise on the D string. This tune lends itself to, to that style of playing. Um, so we, I've mentioned the unison notes. Now don't worry if you can't do that, because it took me ages to figure out how to do that. So what I used to do, instead of playing um, the double A like this, all I used to do was just cheat a bit and just play. I used to play the open D and the open A. So you could play that instead, like this. choices there you can make this tune a lot simpler um, there's bags of scope for doing um, drone notes by that I mean playing when you're playing a melody on the D string you're droning the A string and likewise when you're playing the melody on the A string you're droning the D string loads of opportunity to put drone notes in so from the top, and I'll play this fairly slowly, one, two, three, four. Tune spinning Jenny, 
Um, one thing I did men didn't mention there was I also put a unison note in on the A string where I ride up from the third note on the A string and I slide up to the fourth note. So I'm playing two E's effectively. Another thing I notice at the end of each um, section where you jump down to that chord um, I'll just I'll just play it to explain it to you and then you 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 um, you, you play that um, chord quite distinctly give a little tap I'm with my bow I'll just I'll just demonstrate that I don't know if you heard that there was just a just a little touch with the bow I had no idea why I'm doing it or where it came from it, I guess it's just it's just um, one of those things that, that happens quite naturally so um, anyway that's the tune Spinning Jenny um, I hope you enjoy playing this one um, the music once again there's a link to the music in, at the, in the description for this video so you can um, obviously print that off or put it on your iPlayer or, or your tablet or whatever and play along. Um, so, thank you for watching. The, and this is The Spinning Jenny. <laughs>